hello hello hi guys how are we all i hope you guys are doing well and it is me liana i'm back again to share with you another thrift transformation so today i've got an upcycling project which i want to share with you it is this menswear oversized shirt which i have right here and it was purchased only three dollars from the op shop absolute bargain and i'll be showing you how i transform this into this cute summer dress so this cute summer dress was actually inspired from pretty little things i started on pinterest getting some ideas instagram and then i always managed to go on pretty little things to get some ideas they're really cute feminine girly young free-spirited vibe i've never purchased anything from them before but i always go there for inspiration and some ideas on how to go about doing new designs so i hope you guys like it and let's jump right into it all right so first things first we are going to go ahead and cut off the sleeves from the shirt here's what the first sleeve looks like and then we're going to move on to the other side of the sleeves and remove it from the shirt We're going to go ahead and pin the top of the bottom of the shirt. After this, we are going to go ahead and detach the collar from the shirt. Using clippers to snip off the seam, this will help speed up the process. Once that's been detached, we're able to fold in half the shirt. After folding the shirt in half, we're going to go ahead and snip off the top of the shirt. And then we're going to cut off the side seams and as a result this will help create a square piece of the shirt. Both the front and back will become two large square pieces. Next we're going to go ahead and get a nylon elastic thread. This is what it looks like, it's got a nice stretch to it and it's going to be perfect for what we're about to do next. Using the nylon elastic thread, we're going to feed this through the bobbin and sew across the back part of the shirt. We will only sew the elastic thread to the back of the shirt to ensure that there's enough stretch for when we wear it. And so this is what the fabric looks like with the nylon elastic stitched on. We're going to continue sewing this nylon elastic thread all the way down to at least the hip area of the dress. I've approximated where I wanted to sew this to, but as long as it has enough stretch at the top of the back part of the shirt, this will ensure that we will be able to wear the dress nice and fitted. Once that is done, we're going to get the sleeve heads and cut a square from it. Once we've cut the square, we're going to create another square piece. Using the extra square, we're going to use this from the side of the shirt in which we had earlier cut off. This is folded in half and we're going to go ahead and cut across the exact same width as how we did earlier. This will then be sewn and overlocked together, looking like this. And what this will soon become is the puffy sleeves to attach to the dress. Once all the overlocking has been done, we're going to fold in at one centimetre seam allowance at the top of the edges of the sleeve pieces. This ensures that all overlocking is hidden. We're going to repeat the same process at the bottom sleeve edges. Ideally, I would recommend using nylon elastic thread for sewing across these two seams. After this, we're going to sew down the side seams of the dress. After sewing down one side, we will do the exact same on the other side, sewing at one centimetre seam allowance. Pins will help keep it in place. 
After this, we will then go ahead and overlock the side seams so that all the raw edges are sealed off. Applying this on the other side, the same process again. One of the next important steps that we need, now need to do is to fold down at the top seam to close all the overlocked edges. This will need to be done at a one centimeter seam allowance. Ideally, I would recommend using a nylon elastic thread so that there is a stretch at the top, making it easier to be fitted on properly when worn. As for the bottom of the hem, it will also need to be sewn at a three and a half centimeter seam allowance. Sewing across at five centimeters, we're going to attach the sleeves to the dress on both the left and right. Once this is done, we're going to go ahead and use the collar in which we had previously cut off. Folding in at one centimeter, we're going to go ahead and top stitch it so that there's no open seams shown. And so now that everything is almost done, this is what the dress looks like. Stretchy sleeves, the front and back done, and a hole in which we're able to feed through the collar piece through. And what this will look like is a little cute bow tie at the front of the bust area. Tying it in a double knot, this will keep it nice and secure, creating a little cute bow tie look. And voila, that is the end of the transformation. This is what the before looks like through to the after transformation. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you like the video, don't forget to click subscribe and like. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.